was rare. Mm. Are you done, eh? Aye. Ah, you got a wee sad feeling when you get to the end of your book, eh? Hey. I'm saying you got a wee sad feeling when you come to the end of a good book, you know. I'd quite like to get to the end of this. Why don't you keep your voice down, Jack? Oh, humpy. It's a lot of trash you're reading anyway. What? What is it called? The Battle of Stalingrad. <laughs> Shower of shite. Jesus Christ, Jack. That's three times I've read that bit now. Right, Jack's finished his book, so there's to be no more reading. You're wasting your bloody time anyway. Oh, aye, aye. That cowboy piss you're reading, eh? That's, that's worth something, is it? Don't start. Cowboy books have got substance. There you are. Oklahoma Heart, El Paso Tears. That's a big weepy there. That's a daft woman's book there. What's it about? Well, it's about this uh, cowpoke guy. You know, um, he's got the spurs and that now. The cowboy boots. Uh, uses a last so he's got the horse and that. And, uh... Jesus Christ, Jack. I'm up on what a bloody cowboy is. <laughs> well, um, what happens is he's, he, he, he's widowed, you see, and he's awful upset about it because the Indians have murdered his wife and that and his family. So he's in a hell of a mess. So he decides to up sticks and go to El Paso. And it's there he meets this lovely, lovely Chiquita. Whose father is uh, in debt to the local landlord, is that it? Aye. And big cowboy Joe, he jumps in and saves the day. Aye, that's right, aye. Have you read this? Did you read this before? Then? I bloody no read it. It's the same story. It's carbon copy bollocks. Oh, and yours is much better, eh? What's yours about, eh? Don't tell me, I'll tell you. A bunch of daft bastard and soldiers running about pineapple. Wee, boof! The Germans, oh, the Fuhrer. And how does it finish, eh? We win the war. Well, where's the surprise in that? Where's the twist, eh? Are you sitting reading the book going, oh, it's 50-50, this could go either way. The Germans might win the war, eh? What a nonsense. And look at your bloody cover there, eh? A big daft yank with his big white choppers and his rifle. A lot of tripe. Look at your bloody cover. Hey, some big daft Marlboro man winching a wee lassie. That's a lot of nonsense, you see. The point of these books is that it actually happened. The war is real. Hey, cowboy books are all glamorised. How do you mean? See, the cowboy books, right? They paint the cowboy as a big shot, you know, a good guy. The fact of the matter was, you see, Jack, the cowboys were assholes. Are you saying John Wayne was an asshole? John Wayne wasn't even a cowboy, he was an actor. And he was an asshole into the bargain. Wait a minute. He was in all the bloody war movies and all the green berries and all that. Aye, and what? Well, he was an arsehole in name and all. That's what I'm saying to you. John Wayne was an arsehole. Aye. John Wayne's an arsehole. Aye. Aye. You didn't want that big bloody message bag out with you. Hey, oh. There's a pillar in there. You didn't bring in a pillar to the bloody shops, were you? Shh. It's for the fall. Hey? We're going to take a heater right outside this shop. <laughs> what are you on about? I thought we were going for our lunch. Aye, that's right, we are. But we're not going to pay for it, Jack. Hey? <laughs> Look, you're going to take a fall right outside the front door. The manager, he comes out. You're on your ass. I'm all upset. Oh, my pal, my pal. Boom, we're in. Free lunch. <laughs> well, we don't talk crap. They'd phone a bloody ambulance, wouldn't they? Oh, I see. They don't get to the ambulance part, you see, Jack. As soon as lunch is mentioned, you perk up. Who's mentioning lunch? Well, the manager, right? He comes out. What's happening? What's happening? Are you all right, sir? Are you all right? I was, uh, says you, I was... I was on my way to the bookies to put a line on. No. No. I was... I was... On my way to get my lunch. Aye, that's aye, right. Aye, there aye. we are. Right. And then I'm like that there. Can I come and oh? Manager says, of course your pal can come. Aye, and you come <laughs> to see you. Oh, that's smashing, aye, aye. We're half, we're half and running. Free lunch, Jack. <laughs> Wait a minute. How about you take the bloody fall? <laughs> You've got more padding than I have. Aye, well, that's what they say now. The, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. That's right, aye. Uh, no, that's about height, that saying. Is it? Aye. Besides, here, you're into the wrestling and all that, eh? You know how to fall, Jack. Aye, I know I know how to fall, aye. aye. of course you do. So, that's what you want me to do? Aye, there. Take the bag. So, just, do I go? One, two, three, clatter, do you go? 
I just ham it up when I get doing it. Get right into it there, Jack. Right. <laughs> oh, That's the game there, Jack. Oh. Let me just take it down oh. a wee bit, sir. You want that free oh, lunch? Right Jesus. as rain. <laughs> oh, 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 I don't know if I could stomach any lunch. I'm not feeling very well. Oh. I, I, I can't look at that. You want to, you want to put that pull under my head? Uh, 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 Take an abnob. No. What do you mean, not? Take an abnob. Tell you, I'm not wanting one. Just leave it. Mm, it's not like you. I'm going to get a rest, Jack. I'm wrapping them. Wrapping what? Abnobs. Aye. They're not doing me any good, you know. Drive me off my nut. Well, I did warn you. One packet a week, that's what we promised ourselves. Aye, well, I broke it. I've been cheating. What do you mean you broke it? I bought a pack on Monday. Mm-hmm. Tan the lot. Same again Tuesday. For God's sake, Victor. I woke up on Wednesday morning and the packet was the first thing I reached for. I'm telling you, Jack, they've got a grip on me. Have you taken to hiding them round about the house? Aye. Grand Wayne found some there in the washing machine, you know. Bloody embarrassing it was. So I turned the whole pack down the chute there. Promised myself that was that. It's me been cold turkey for two days now. Well, how are you feeling? Rough, I'm feeling rough. I had a pack of rich tea there, you know, yesterday, but it's no substitute. No, it's no substitute. Old Tam across the land for me, he's addicted to them mint yo-yos. Packets and packets and packets he eats. I found him running about bollock naked down at the bottom of the flat, still clutching the packet in his horn. He gets him off a van. Aye, I'll not go near that van. The bloody dealer's in death. Nah, it's not that. Tam's not got the money for a yo-yo habit, you know. That van bastard's got his pension book. He's either that or kneecap him. So, Tam's only just had that knee fixed and all. Uh, poor old bugger trying to sell me his wally dugs and all. Aye, well, I'm not going to end up like that. That's me, I'm finished. Aye. Good for you. He's one. Well, come on now, Victor. Get a grip. Be strong. Come on, Jack. I'm just needing a wee boost. Take a rich tea. No want a rich tea. It's a bloody nib knob I'm needing. Look, listen to me, Victor. You listen. I've got half a cup of tea there. I'm needing one. Look at me, man. I'm, I'm shaking. I'm sweating. Victor. No. Two teams of decorators all day, so now it's time to have a look and see what changes they've made to each other's living rooms. And you come, Jack? <laughs> Keep your eyes closed. <laughs> okay. Where's Victor? I'm here, Jack. Right, Jack. Open your eyes. Oh, hey. oh my. That's fantastic. Is this the same room? It certainly is. What do you think? What do you think? I think it's absolutely amazing. Oh, the job you've done right enough, eh? What do you think of your new fireplace? What's that? Ah, oh, see, what we've done there, Jack, you see, is we pulled out the grill there, you see? Stripped it down and put in one of the eleven flame jobs you like. You oh, see, see you. Aye, he knows I like the eleven flames, that. I've always wanted... We've put all your medals and memorabilia in there, the copper frames there. Oh, so... that... I don't know what to say. Was that your idea? Yeah, it was, aye. Oh, that's lovely. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, wait, where's my record player my telly in that? Hmm? What's happened to that? Ta-da! Just inside here, Jack. You open this up, and they're in this lovely mock walnut cabinet. That's absolutely marvellous. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm, 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 I'm close to tears, so I'm, a, I'm not happy. That's beautiful. Thanks, Victor. Hey, well, hey, Jack. Well, now it's time to go over to Victor's to see what changes Jack has made. <laughs> Okay, Victor, are you ready? Aye. Open your eyes. Oh, I'm fit to, you know. <laughs> Don't be bloody stupid, Victor. Open them up. <laughs> oh, aye, it's 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 the same. <laughs> oh, nothing. Oh, come on now, there is a difference, eh? What difference? It's exactly the bloody same, Jack. You don't see what I've done. <laughs> You've done hee haw. <laughs> I even tidied my digest. They're still lying all about, look. Well, but that's the way you like them. I tried to tidy them up once before he went off your bloody heat, so you did. You said you like things the way they are. They're still stirring this sideboard here. Yeah, he has moved your wall unit there. Oh, is that it, eh? Moved the wall unit? 
Well, whoop de do. I can't even get seen for the van now. The wind is blocked there. I can't believe this, you know. One bloody thing you've moved. You've made a horse's arse of that and all. Did you? Knock my bloody pan in, turning your room into a Hollywood palace. And what have you done here? Nothing. You're living in splendor. I'm living in squalor. But Victor. But Victor, nothing. Holding you responsible, you arsehole. Oh, no, Victor. Here. Where's my wally dogs? Eh, uh, they get smashed. How? It's when they moved that wall unit. <laughs>